To address the societal impact of pain, uh, you really have to address the personal impact of pain. And to help policymakers really understand how we can do this, I think it's really important to develop a consensus on some of the big questions. And for me, that's one of the really special things about the, the SIP meeting. It brings together not only healthcare professionals, but, but patient representatives like myself, uh, and actually, a lot of people uh, who represent patients don't even use the word patient. We talk about people living with chronic or persistent pain. And that's because the solutions are not only medical, although that's very important, they're also broader. Uh, we have to address uh, social issues like employment and so on. So my opinion is that uh, to raise the, the profile of chronic pain, we need to help policymakers to understand the impact at the personal and the societal level, give them the data, give them some rational arguments to help them, to help us. But most of all, we need to offer them solutions. And I think the outcomes of the SIP meetings always generate good solutions to these sometimes quite complex issues.